stunts and run, making a hole in the park. Peterson is the winner. And it's Noah getting up, winning it. And they're off. Bob running. Pops is going up. And Bob is going up. And the tiger by five. And Jack and Fred drawing it up. Cougar on the right. And Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. No chief is striking. Best pal breaks away. So far as all black. Real quiet. Piz now along the inside. Glad you could join us for Sunday racing at Betfair Hollywood Park. Good nine race card, $80,000 pick six carryover, and a good feature race. The Great Lady M, Philly Miz Direction, goes for her sixth straight win. She's the favorite for the Great Lady M. Pick six and races four through nine. Let's get right to the action of Sunday's opener. Field of six, Phillies and Mares went post for the opener at six and a half furlongs, coming price of $25,000. Number two, half a Ponderosa back onto the main track, bet down to the even money favorite. Fixed off with the call of Sunday's first race. They're off. Kiss My Swiss and Freeway Racer, Ambitinus four deep. Then comes Queenie Marini and half a Ponderosa. Grasp is at the rail. Pretty much all six of them sent or took back. Can't tell, but it's two lengths from first to last. Up the back stretch they run. And the leader is Grasp, who moves through for Chantel and takes over the lead from Kiss My Swiss, a neck back in second. Freeway Racer is third. Ambitinus is going to be four wide all the way around the far turn. She moves up now for Aggie up into third in a length and a half from the front, maybe less than that. Half a Ponderosa going to save all the ground, but she will need racing room. At the rail in fourth now as Queenie Marini drops back, joined by Freeway Racer. Pretty much three by three rounding the far turn. Ambitinus all the way up to challenge Grasp now. Grasp is half ahead in front. Ambitinus is alongside and on the attack. Kiss My Swiss dropping out, about to be passed by Half a Ponderosa. Half a Ponderosa is into third now, but she's four lengths behind the new leader, and that is Ambitinus. Ambitinus, final furlong, now only two in front of Half a Ponderosa, who passes Grasp into second. Ambitinus leads to the 16th pole. Now the lead is just a length as Half a Ponderosa's got a chance from the inside. Ambitinus, Half a Ponderosa surges. Ambitinus, Half a Ponderosa. Wow. That ended up an inch either way. And Bittness trying to hold off half a Ponderosa, and they hit it together. Tight photo finish in the opener. Half a Ponderosa flies home along the rail and nails a tough luck. And Bittness right on the money. Half a Ponderosa, trained by Doug O'Neill, ridden by a Swan Flores. Daughter of more than ready, a seven-year-old mayor, $4.20. Tough beat for the runner-up. Finishing third was Grasp. Did have a couple claims, the winner half of Ponderosa, two-way shake to Bill Spar. The runner-up, Ambitinus, a two-way shake to Robertino Diodoro. Both claims for $25,000. Final time, 117 and two. Race number two at a mile and a 16th, Phillies and Mares three and up, claiming price of $12,500. Number three, you'll always be mine, the even money choice, Vic Stauffer with all the action of race number two. They're off. Tis a bud girl and Lady Lore shows speed, living our dream taken back off those two. Katie's kitty on the move between horses. Then comes You'll Always Be Mine in Real Rockport and the early trailer is Vicky Lee. It's Lady Lore and Cheyenne Garcia to the front. Lady Lore leads by a length and a half. Make it two lengths now as she sprints away up front. Tis a Bud Girl and Living Our Dream are together second and third. You'll Always Be Mine is guided three wide to the back stretch, and she's a tugging fourth now. White Blaze face and orange cap four from the front. Katie's Kitty stays at the rail for Danny Vergara, about five lengths off the lead, and that's because Lady Lore is three and a half in front up the backside. Vicky Lee is already pushed along with nine to make up. And she's a length in front of Real Rockport as they run up the back stretch. Lady Lore to the half mile pole. Her lead is now two lengths. Katie's Kitty going to move through from the inside. Could have to negotiate to get past the Bug Girl as Katie's Kitty is now a length and a quarter from the front. Tis a Bug Girl just outside of her. Living our dream three wide as Eswan Flores tries to sweep the double and he's two from the front. You'll always be mine is fifth now. Now fourth as Katie's Kitty backpedals just a bit and three from the front. 
Real Rockport has seven to come. Vicki Lee is now the trailer, and we have a new leader. Tis a Bud Girl has taken over the front. Living Our Dream is right alongside in second. You'll Always Be Mine. Now four wide, but on the move. Here's You'll Always Be Mine. Katie's Kitty and Lady Laura fourth and fifth. Living Our Dream and You'll Always Be Mine to the final furlong, and they are shoulder to shoulder. You'll Always Be Mine outside. Living Our Dream inside, and they get together, maybe brush off each other. Living Our Dream just in front. You'll always be mine. Katie's Kitty third at the rail. You'll always be mine. Living our dream. These two living our dream. Wow, we've had two whackers in the first two races. Living our dream just in front of you'll always be mine. Katie's Kitty, a resurgent third. Two horse battle down the lane. Living our dream holds off. You'll always be mine at the wire. But the stewards immediately put up the inquiry sign. And after taking a look at the videotape, decided to disqualify the original winner, number seven, Living Our Dream, for drifting out and making contact through the lane with the runner-up, You'll Always Be Mine. Disqualification in race number two, making the winner, You'll Always Be Mine, at $4 to win. Living Our Dream placed second. Third was Katie's Kitty. Early double, 11 20, three claims. The winner, You'll Always Be Mine, to Melody Conlon. Number five, Vicki Lee to Dean Pedersen. Number seven, Living Our Dream to Mike Mitchell. All claims for $12,500. Final time, 146 flat. On to the third race, Maidens, Phillies, and Mayors, three and up, going seven furlongs. A field of six. Number three, Miner's Daughter, a pretty good fourth in her debut. Bet down to the eight to five choice. They're off. Bound for Eden broke beautifully, goes for the front from Credit Card Roulette. Miner's daughter was actually a bit slow into stride, but she's all the way up on the engine and at the rail flashy dame. Personal Sunset is getting out badly up the backstretch. She's an absolute unmanageable handful, and the trailer is Jardella. So up the backstretch they run, and Flashy Dame has a short lead over Miner's Daughter, who catches the eye second. She's traveling very well. Flashy Dame a half length in front. Miner's Daughter just waiting for the go signal in second. Those two have sprinted three lengths clear of credit card roulette. Jardella moves through at the rail now. She's fourth and about five from the front. Then comes Personal Sunset, who's still a handful. And the trailer is bound for Eden. They leave the backstretch. Flashy Dame and a menacing shadow to the outside called Miner's Daughter, who's right alongside now. Flashy Dame, Miner's Daughter, without being asked, could be the new leader at the top of the stretch. And she will be. Going to take a lot of beating now. Miner's Daughter in charge at the top of the stretch. Then comes Credit Card Roulette. The whip is out on Jardella. And Personal Sunset, final furlong they run. Miner's Daughter just in front. Flashy Dame is battling on bravely. And she... Flashy Dame and Miner's Daughter get together. Meanwhile, Jardella is moving up on the rail. If she gets through, she could be the one tight spot. Miner's Daughter drops out. Jardella takes it over, and Jardella rides the rail to win. Jardella beat Flashy Dame, Miner's Daughter, and no excuse. Third credit card roulette was fourth. Jardella had been the beaten favorite five straight times, three of those times at odds on. She finally gets the money. She squeezes through on the inside and scores the victory. Joel Rosario up for John Sadler, owner Michael Tala, daughter of Tappet Jaradella, returns six dollars even. Flashy Dame was second, and Miner's daughter tired to third. Pick three, 1550. Final time, 123 and three. We'll take a timeout, come back with a Sunday carryover. Pick six. They're up. The sky is the limit at Bed Fair Hollywood Park on Friday night, June 1st, as we present Revolution live after the races. Revolution will be performing songs from their new album, Peace of Mind, as well as their classic, The Sky is the Limit, Out of My Way, You Can't A spectacular concert, exciting races, and good vibes await you. Friday Night Live, rock at the races with Revolution, June 1st, at Vet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Sunday's fourth, the start of the pick six, a nice carryover of $80,000. Race number four began it, a tough maiden turf race, six furlongs with one scratch. Take out number four, Mezcal, lukewarm favorite, number five, Fable Haven at seven to two. A carryover of $80,000 plus, Vic Stauffer with the call, the start of the pick six. They're up. Mikey T hopped in the air, he's last. My best brother away on top from Warface in second. Congregationalist away third. Fablehaven is fourth. 
Three buttons down is fifth and Mikey T, and the trailer is C to Sky. Warface and my best brother Matt strides up the back stretch. My best brother inside, Warface outside, and they've sprinted five lengths clear of Congregationalist in third. It's two lengths to three buttons down, fourth and seven from the front. Mikey T has angled to the center of the turf course. He joins Fable Haven. They're both nine off the lead. C to Sky would have to make up 13 lengths and three furlongs. They round the far turn. It is my best brother and Warface, and my best brother has a short lead now. He's a length in front of Warface who can't stay with him, and my best brother going to settle into the lane now with about a two-length advantage. Congregation Excellence races in third, Fable Haven, Mikey T, and they come to the final furlong, and my best brother has built up a huge lead. He is five in front. Fable Haven has run up into second. Then comes Congregationalist and Cedar Sky. My best brother all the way to the wire to win. My best brother won by three. Fable Haven was second. Very close for third between Sea to Sky and Congregationalist. My best brother runs huge and scores nicely. The break is made in fourth time out. This colt is by Stormy Atlantic out of a mare named Will She Wed, owned and bred by Al Eisman and William Kerr. And this is a full brother, the grade one Hollywood Futurity winner, Stormello. My best brother, $9.60. Fable Haven, Sea to Sky, rounded out the trifecta. That trifecta good for 76.20. Final time, 108 and 4. Race number five at seven furlongs, an allowance race for fillies and mares three and up in a field of six. Sparkling Style comes off a big win over Calbreds, knocked all the way down to the two to five choice. They're at the post. They're off. Twitter pie just stood there when they sprung it last. Pink Blossom and with the Miracle Break Best, something about Terry at the rail. Sparkling Style away in fourth. Twitter pie now takes fifth and the trailer is Mayakoba Mesa. Pink Blossom quicker than With a Miracle who backs off, so Pink Blossom uncontested now, and she leads by two and a half lengths. With a Miracle is second. Something about Terry moves through at the rail. Sparkling style three deep and about four from the front. Then comes Twitter Pie in the green. She's got five lengths to make up, and Mayakoba Mesa just inside of her, past the half-mile pole. Pink Blossom free running into the far turn. Pink Blossom leads by three lengths. Sparkling Style begins to run after her in second. And here comes the big favorite, Sparkling Style. Each stride she takes, she's closer to Pink Blossom. Sparkling Style now within three quarters of a length of the lead. Meanwhile, Maya Koba Mesa emerges up into third now and only two from the front. With a Miracle is running well at the rail. Then Twitter Pie and something about Terry. Top of the stretch, new leader, Sparkling Style. And she takes it over. Sparkling Style now suddenly three lengths in front. Front. With a Miracle has taken over second, then Pink Blossom, Mayakoba Mesa flattened out suddenly and Sparkling Style is clear, a 16th out and now she's four in front. With a Miracle, Pink Blossom and Mayakoba Mesa, Sparkling Style in front. Hand ridden to the wire, she won by four and a half. With a Miracle was second, Pink Blossom third, Mayakoba Mesa finished fourth. The favorite sparkling style wins convincingly in race number five, owned by Arnold Zetcher, trained by Bob Baffert, Joe Talamo aboard this daughter of badge of silver, $2.80. Good try by the runner-up with a miracle who was second best and finishing third, Pink Blossom. Chalky pick four, $34.65. Chalky pick five, $130.90. Final time, one twenty-three and a fifth. On to race number six, the start of the late pick four on the turf at one mile, three rolls and up, a claiming price of $32,000, and a field of 10 went postward. Number six, Dewey Special drops in class for Jeff Mullins, the three to two favorite. Dress code and Stoneside co second choices at nine to two. 10 went a mile on the grass to kick off the late pick four. They're up. Dewey's special and Inuit Fisher, but Dewey's special and Bejarano are determined to get to the front, and they do. Inuit Fisher and to the outside, Celestic Knight. Then comes dress code, Kayambi's at the rail, best verse. And on the front end, Celestic Knight did not take the corner very well at all. He's in about the five path. Then comes fire break, followed by best verse who's at the rail, stone side, and the trailer is but I crushed it. To the back stretch they run, and Dewey's special is the leader. He's a length and a half in front of Inuit Fisher in second. Kayambi is well placed at the rail as Rosario goes for his third win. Kayambi is a length and a half from the front. Celestic Knight is still in the center of the racetrack. He's fourth in the pink and two and a half off the lead. Then comes Sky Cape, just in behind the leaders, fifth with four to come. 
another four lengths to a pile, a pack of three. They are Stoneside, who's made his way to the rail, Fire Break, and but I crushed it. Also up in that group is Dress Code and the trailer as they leave the back stretch now is But I Crushed It and the leader is still Dewey's a Special who's trying to go it all the way. Dewey's Special to the quarter pole, a two length lead over Inuit Fisher and Kayambi. Celestic Knight was never happy today. He's backed out of it, passed by Sky Cape and Stoneside and fire break and they run to the top of the stretch with Dewey's special the one to catch and he's traveling well Dewey's special now three and a half lengths in front Sky Cape has just rallied up into second but Dewey's special has run them right off their feet Dewey's special is five in front Sky Cape and Stoneside Dewey's special Dewey's special just too good he won by five Sky Cape second Stoneside third and knew it Fisher finished fourth Dewey's Special takes a steep drop in class, makes an easy lead, and scores nicely. Ridden by Rafael Bejarano for the owner's Moore Racing, Jeff Mullins, a winning trainer, seven-year-old gelded son of skimming, six wins in 17 career starts. Five dollars on the nose, second a good try by the 10 to one shot Sky Cape, and finishing third was Stoneside. That trifecta, $77 even, final time, 133 and four. We'll take a break, come back with the late pick three. They're up. The sky is the limit at Bet Fair Hollywood Park on Friday night, June 1st, as we present Revolution live after the races. Revolution will be performing songs from their new album, Peace of Mind, as well as their classic. The sky is the limit, out of my way. You can A spectacular concert, exciting races, and good vibes await you. Friday night live, rock at the races with Revolution June 1st at Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Sunday's seventh race at a mile and one sixteenth, an allowance race with an optional claiming price of $62,500. Number two, classic legacy from the Bob Baffert Barn, the two to one favorite. Megastar, the second choice at four to one. Eight went a mile and a sixteenth in race number seven. They're off. Mackenzie's way in a very hard scent, Joy Boy. Fiddlers of Fleet is close up, so is classic. Legacy, Mackenzie's Way now takes back. So does First Strike and Victory Pete. Followed by Megastar in the early trailer. Now is Mackenzie's Way. He was sent and he's last early. Joy Boy wanted that lead and they are going fast to the backstretch. Joy Boy is two lengths in front of Classic Legacy in second. Fiddlers of Fleet and Spud Spivens are third and fourth and they're about four from the front. Then it's first strike and victory Pete. They've got about six lengths to make up. Megastar is eight from the lead, and then five lengths last to Mackenzie's Way as they turn and make the run up the backstretch, and Joy Boy is still aggressive. Joy Boy leads by two lengths from Classic Legacy, who tracks in second. Fiddlers of Fleet and a closer Spud Spivens. Here's Spud to move through a joint third at the rail and three and a half off the lead. Victory Pete going to make a move, leaving the backstretch for Mike Smith. Megastar is moving up at the rail. Going to have to negotiate quite a bit of traffic, but Megastar is moving within five of the lead. He passes first strike. Mackenzie's Way has trailed throughout. Joy Boy has led throughout. Joy Boy just a neck now in front of Classic Legacy. New leader. Classic Legacy just ran right by Joy Boy. Joy Boy gone. Fiddlers of Freed is, is next. Then comes Spud Spivens. Megastar still has four to come. First strike outside of him. Top of the stretch. Classic Legacy and Fiddlers of Fleet. Spud Spivens trying to get through a very tight spot at the rail for Gogo. -Go. Spud Spivens on the move. Classic Legacy just drifted out and that opened it wide open for Spud Spivens. And here comes Spud Spivens. Classic Legacy is back to second. Spud Spivens wins. Spud Spivens beats Classic Legacy, three quarters of a length. Fiddlers of Fleet was third, and Megastar finished fourth. Strong handling by Garrett Gomez as Spud Spivens posts his fourth lifetime win from 23 starts. The last two of those wins with Garrett Gomez. Henry Moreno, the winning trainer, Spud Spivens, $12.20. Classic Legacy settled for second. Third was Fiddlers of Fleet. Trifecta, $156.90. Final time, 142 and three. On to race number eight to feature the 18th running of the Great Lady M Stakes. $70,000 purse, six furlongs on the turf, fillies and mares, three and up. Number four, Ms. Direction, shoots for her fifth straight win and her fourth straight stakes win. She's the odds on choice at two to five. Scratch the seven, Bree Cat, a field of seven. Vic Stoffer with the call of the Great Lady M Stakes. They're at the post. They're off. 
Tarota's asked for speed, but Bloomer Girl is quicker, and Bloomer Girl goes to the front, holding her ground in Tarota's second and third. Equitana's in the mix. Ms. Direction comes away running in fifth, and Broken Dreams outside of the favorite, and the trailer is Mega Dream. Bloomer Girl up the back stretch, a length and a half in front of Equitana and holding her ground, together second and third. Tarota's at the rail in the pink, and about three and a half off the lead. She's a neck in front of the big favorite, Ms. Direction, fifth at this point and four from the lead. Broken Dreams and Mega Dream at the back of the pack. Bloomer Girl trying to go it all the way in the 18th. Great Lady M stakes, and she leads by two to the quarter pole. Tarota is going to stay at the rail. Meanwhile, Ms. Direction is running four wide. They're both on the move after the front runner, and that front runner is Bloomer Girl. Here's Ms. Direction in the center of the turf course. Tarota's at the rail, but she's now third and two from the front. Mega Dream is running a very big race. Bloomer Girl, they have not got past her yet. Ms. Direction, but you better take a look at Mega Dream, who explodes from the back of the pack. Mega Dream runs by and wins. Boy, and that was a big win. Mega Dream, a length and three quarters in the 18th Great Lady M. Ms. Direction was second, Bloomer Girl third, Tarota fourth. A powerful performance from Mega Dream. Long shot ridden by Rafael Bejarano for trainer Jeff Bondi. Won her last start at Oaklawn Park, ships into California and takes down the Great Lady M, an impressive performance. She blew away the favorite Ms. Direction who had to settle for second. Third was Bloomer Girl. The winner returned $28.40. That doubled $215. Pick three, $425.70. Final time for the Great Lady M, 108 and 4. We'll take a timeout, come back with a ninth and final. They're up. The sky is the limit at Bedfair Hollywood Park on Friday night, June 1st, as we present Revolution live after the races. Revolution will be performing songs from their new album, Peace of Mind, as well as their classic. The sky is the limit, out of my way, you can A spectacular concert, exciting races, and good vibes await you. Friday Night Live, rock at the races with Revolution, June 1st, at Bedfair Hollywood Park. You can't get me down. Ninth and final wraps up the Sunday card. $10,000 claimers at six and a half furlongs. Three rolls it up, a purse of $21,000. Number two, Valkyrie Missile comes off a facile win for $12,500. She drops in for $10,000 and is bet down to the three to two choice. Scratch the seven, trumpet player Jay. Scratch the eight, striking spirit. And scratch number 13, rain gear. Vic Stoffer with the call. Ninth and final. They're at the post. They're off. Earn Never Given and Double Jack shows speed. Hidden Blessing is close up, so is Bertrand Hill, Valkyrie Missile at the rail. Double Jack is very fast, but also trying to get out up the back stretch. Then comes a hasty trend in Titian, followed by Star Nicholas and my man Sumo. So Double Jack's going to leave several rails open, several lanes open towards the rail, and one of them is taken by Valkyrie Missile, who moves through and takes over the lead. Double Jack is a neck back in second, Hidden Blessing third and a length and a half from the front. Bertrand Hill is fourth. He's got two and a half to make up. Earn Never Given and Zenner Zena five off the lead, and the lead is held by Valkyrie Missile, who is now two in front. Tishan is midfield with seven to make up. Star Nicholas just passed him. And the stretch running Calbred Star Nicholas could be heard from late. He's traveling nicely and picking off horses. Still six behind Valkyrie Missile, though. Then comes My Man Sumo and Hasty Trend. Top of the stretch, they run Valkyrie Missile, the one to catch. And he's built up a nice lead. Valkyrie Missile is five lengths in front. Star Nicholas does emerge and try to run him down. My Man Sumo goes with Nicholas, but Valkyrie Missile is going to give Joel Rosario his third win, and he's well in front. My Man Sumo into second, Star Nicholas third, and a Zena fourth, Valkyrie Missile. Valkyrie Missile won by better than three. My Man Sumo was second, Star Nicholas third, Zena Zena fourth, maybe hasty trend for fifth. The favorite Valkyrie Missile never looked like a loser at any point. She scores nicely. Joel Rosario up for trainer Jerry Hollendorfer. This is a son of Golden Missile. Back-to-back -back wins, $5 even. Good try by the runner-up, my man Sumo. Star Nicholas finished third. Trifecta 108.70, pick three, 405.40. There was a claim in the race number two, Valkyrie Missile, the winner, to Blake Keep for $10,000. Super High Five paid just under $3,000. Late pick four, pool well over half a million dollars. $1,201.20. In a pick six, eight tickets perfect, $51,732. Five out of six, 340.60. 
place pick all, $70.30. Special Monday racing on Memorial Day, one scratch, 10th and final, take out the 15, pay in her way. That'll do it for Sunday racing at Hollywood Park. Back up and running for holiday racing, Memorial Day, special Monday racing, first post time at 1 o'clock, first grade one of the meet, the Gamely, also the Los Angeles handicap, part of that 10 race program tomorrow, Monday, Memorial Day. Hope to see you then. Until then, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. See you back Monday at Betfair, Hollywood Park. <music>